In this story, we meet a woman who sees an old, tired-looking dog wander into her yard. The dog, who was kind, well-fed, and in good shape, then follows her inside her house and proceeds to curl up on the floor to take a nap. After the dog awakens, he stands up and leaves the woman's house, only to return again the next day for another sleep session. The dog kept coming back to take a nap and would probably leave. This went on for several weeks until the woman attached a note to the dog's collar, hoping his owner would read it and respond. She wanted to find out why a stranger's dog was using her home to catch some sleep. When the dog returned with a new note attached to his collar, the woman finally learned the truth. An old, tired-looking dog wandered into my yard. I could tell from his collar and well-fed belly that he had a home and he was well taken care of. He calmly came over to me. I gave him a few pats on his head. He then followed me into my house, slowly walked down the hall, curled up in the corner, and fell asleep. An hour later, he went to the door and I let him out. The next day, he was back, greeted me in my yard, walked inside, and resumed his spot in the hall and again slept for about an hour. This continued off and on for several weeks. Curious, I pinned a note to his collar. I would like to find out who the owner of this wonderful sweet dog is and ask if you're aware that almost every afternoon your dog comes to my house for a nap. The next day, he arrived for his nap with a different note pinned to his collar. He lives in a home with six children, two under the age of three. He's trying to catch up on his sleep. Can I come with him tomorrow? Children who grow up around dogs are lucky to have such loving, protective four-legged family members. But sometimes, just like parents and guardians, our canine companions need a little break from the chaos that is childbearing. <laughs>